Welcome to Baxter Bell Yoga. I'm here at the Oakland Yoga Studio in Oakland, California. Check out the studio the next time you're in town. Also remember you can now buy my book, Yoga for Healthy Aging, co-authored with Nina Zolotov, as well as find the link to order t-shirts uh, from my website, baxterbell.com, and um, you want to order up a couple sizes for the t-shirts, they tend to run a little bit small. I'm excited to once again share with you some other ideas on how to transfer from standing to sitting and sitting to standing so that you can easily get down to the ground for your yoga practice or for everyday activities like uh, playing with pets or children or grandchildren or anything else that requires you being close to the ground like gardening and such. So in the yoga studio we're fortunate to have uh, chairs but certainly around the house you might have folding chairs and it's conceivable you could even take one outside into the garden if you needed to have a little assistance in getting up and down. And um, I can't tell you exactly how your legs are going to need to work as you come down because that's going to depend on a lot of different factors. If you've got healthy hips, if your lower back is doing okay, if your knees bend deeply or if your ankles bend deeply. So I'm going to get up and down in a way that seems like it works nicely for me but know that there's a lot of play here and you can make up different ways that allow you to use the chair in a positive way to get up and down from the ground. So what I'm going to suggest is you might have the chair off to your, uh, to your right side. Um, you could turn to face it a little bit or you could still face forward and using the chair you're going to bring your hands down to see the chair and then from there you're going to lower one leg down and then adjust the foot and bring the hips down and then come into the simple cross-legged position. So there were several stages to do that. To reverse that, I might lean a little bit towards the chair and bring one foot out, bring my hands out of the chair, and then use my legs and my hands to come up and off the ground, right? So I can make that transfer using the chair in a nice way. Let's do that again. So we're gonna bend our knees, bring the hands out of the chair, and then varying weight on one foot, bring the other leg down first, the sitting bones down, and then come to cross-legged position. To come out, leaning a little bit onto your right side, Bring the left foot out, bring your hands on the chair, use your arms and your legs to come up as smoothly as you can. So maybe going to that side works well for you, maybe the other side works better, so if we put the chair on the other side, we'll just try it out and see what feels good. We're gonna bend the knees, bring the hands to the chair, we're gonna bear weight on one leg, we're gonna bring the other leg down underneath us, and then sit down and come to cross-legged position. To come out, I would step one foot onto the floor, my back leg in this case, Hands come on, I'm leaning out of my left buttocks. I'm gonna use my legs and my hands to come up and out. So maybe I have one leg that's really strong and going to this side utilizes that strong leg. That might be the way for now that I get up and down. Over time, as I start to get better at that, I might work on the other side so I can start to re-strengthen the side that was a little weak for whatever reason. So another way to transfer up and down from the ground using a chair a little bit higher to guide you down and up safely. Play around with that in your practice this week. See if that works for you. Remember, you can follow me online at BaxterBell.com, as well as the blog site Yoga for Healthy Aging. I have longer practices on the practice channel at the website YogaUOnline.com. Until the next time, thank you so much for joining me. Namaste.